The following is a list of the kings of the two kingdoms of Burgundy, and a number of related political entities devolving from Carolingian machinations over family relations. Kings of the Burgundians The Burgundians had left born home c. 300 and settled near the Vistula. Jordanus relates that in this area they were thoroughly defeated by the Gepids in the 4th century and then moved to the Rhineland. Gebica, Gundamar I, son of Gebica, Gisela, son of Gebica, Gunther, son of Gebica, Flavia Cetius moves the Burgundians into Sarpaudia. Gundaric, Gundioc opposed by Chilpric I, brother of Gundioc, division of the kingdom among the four sons of Gundioc, Gundabad, Chilpric II, Gundamar, Godamar Godagisel, Sigismund, son of Gundabad, Godamar or Gundamar, son of Gundabad, Burgundy and the Frankish kings. Gradually conquered by the Frankish kings Childebert I and Clotheri from 532 to 534 Merovingian kings Childebert I, 534 to 558, Thedebert I, 534 to 548, Clotha I, 534 to 561, eventually uniting the entire kingdom, Guntram. Childebert II, 592 to 595, Theuderic II, 595 to 613, united with Neustria under one king, but with separate administration Carolingian kings Pippin the Younger, 751 to 768. Carl Oman, 768 to 771, Charlemagne, 771 to 814, Louis the Pious, 814 to 840, Lothar the First, 840 to 855, king under his father since 817. The sons of Louis the Pious divided the Frankish kingdom in the Treaty of Erden in 843. Burgundy was divided between the brothers Charles the Bald, who received the smaller part, west of the river Saewon. This entity was officially called Regnum Burgundy, but since the King of France delegated administrations to dukes, the territory became known as the Duchy of Burgundy or Bourgogne. Lothair I received the larger part, east of the river Saewon, which retained the name of Kingdom of Burgundy. After Lothar's death in 855, his realm was divided between his sons. The Burgundian territories were divided between Lothair II, who received the northern parts, and Charles of Provence, who received the southern parts including Provence, Lyon and Vienne. His realm was called the Regnum Provinciae. For the kings of Provence before its union with the rest of Burgundy, see the list of dukes, kings, counts, and margraves of Provence. Kingdom of Upper Burgundy Lothar II, 855 to 869. Lothar subsumed his portion of Burgundy into the kingdom of Lotharingia and at his brother Charles's death gained some northern districts of the deceased's kingdom. When Lothar II died in 869, his realm was divided between his uncles Charles the Bald and Louis the German in the Treaty of Mersen. When Emperor Charles the Fat, who until 884 had reunited all Frankish kingdoms except for Kingdom of Provence, died in 888. The nobles and leading clergy of Upper Burgundy assembled at St. Maurice and elected Rudolf, Count of Auxerre, from the Elder Welf family, as king. At first, he tried to reunite the realm of Lothar II, but opposition by Arnulf of Carinthia forced him to focus on his Burgundian territory. Rudolf I Rudolf II. In 933 Rudolf ceded his claims to the Kingdom of Italy to Hugh of Arles and in return gained the Kingdom of Provence, thus reuniting the two territories. Conrad I. Rudolf III. In 1032 the Kingdom of Burgundy was incorporated into the Holy Roman Empire as a third kingdom, the Kingdom of Arles, with the King of Germany or Emperor as King of Burgundy. Kingdom of Burgundy as part of the Holy Roman Empire. 
Thessalian dynasty Conrad II, King 1032-1039, Emperor since 1027. Henry III, King 1039-1056, Emperor 1046-1056. Henry IV, King 1056-1105, Emperor 1084-1105, Henry V, King 1105-1125, Emperor 1111-1125, Supplenberg Alotha III, King 1125-1137, Emperor 1133-1137. Stauffen, Conrad III, King 1138-1152, Frederick I Barbarossa, King 1152, Emperor 1155-1190, Henry VI, King 1190, Emperor 1191-1197, Philip of Swabia, rival king 1198-1208, Otto IV of Brunswick, rival king 1208-1215, Emperor 1209-1215, Frederick II, king 1212, Emperor 1220-1250, Conrad IV, king 1237-1254, Rectorate of Burgundy under the kings Conrad I and Rudolf III, royal power had weak and while local nobles, such as the Counts of Burgundy, had gained prominence. After the early death of Emperor Henry III, his widow Agnes of Poitou acted as regent for his young son Henry IV. She made Rudolf von Rheinfelden Duke of Swabia and also conferred on him the regal powers over Burgundy. However, when Rudolf was elected anti-king, Roman King Henry IV in 1079 stripped him of his powers and delegated them to the Prince Bishops of Lausanne and Sitten. When William III, Count of Burgundy was assassinated in February 1127, King Lothar III supported the claims of William's uncle Duke Conrad of Zaringen grandson of Rudolf von Rheinfeld to the countship and conferred on him the regal powers over Burgundy. Lacking a proper title, the Tsaringa called themselves Dukes and Rectors of Burgundy. In order to gain the status of Dukes of Burgundy, the royal chancellery however consistently avoided this term and the effective power of the rector was restricted to the possessions of the Tsaringa east of the Jura. Any attempts to enforce the Tsaringa's claims and to extend royal authority into the western and southern parts of the kingdom failed, most notably a military campaign in 1153. After these failures, Emperor Frederick I Barbarossa gained a firm hold of the western districts in 1156 by marrying Beatrice, heiress to the Countship of Burgundy. This success permanently confined the Tsaringa between Jura and Alps where they used their regal powers to expand their possessions. In 1218, Berthold V, Duke of Tsaringen died without issue. After this, King Frederick II conferred the title of the Rector of Burgundy on his young son Henry. In order to keep the heirs of Tsaringen possessions away from the regal powers associated with that title, this appointment was only of momentary importance and after Henry had been elected King of Germany in April 1220, the title disappeared for good. Also, the decline of royal power inside the Kingdom of Burgundy remained irreversible.